G'day guys, today we're going to have a look and see if I can run my Ibis 4 Dometic air conditioner off grid. That means running it straight off my batteries through my inverter rather than being connected to mains power. So I'm going to be using this little temperature gauge and I'm going to be using this clamp meter to see how much current it's actually drawing with the fan on minimum, with the fan on full and see if it's going to be enough to cool down our Emu Expedition which is a 15 foot hybrid caravan. So we'll put this experiment into a little bit of context. It's about 30 degrees outside at the moment. It's approximately 5.30 in the afternoon in Western Australia. So we've still got um, a fairly hot, bright sun powering down on us, but it is an afternoon sun. So it's not charging the solar panels really at an optimal kind of level. And there are 300 watts of cheap Chinese style solar panels on the top here, two 150 watt panels, I think really at absolute best would be getting about 25% of that because you don't normally get the full amount out of your panels even in optimal conditions and this is certainly far from it. So I'd be guessing we're getting about 75 watts into our solar panels and 75 watts would be just a little bit over 6 amps at 12 volts um, probably even a little bit less at 13 volts. We do have two lithium batteries here they are just cheap Chinese batteries that came with the camper they seem to hold up all right when we're running the coffee machine there is a video on the whole 12 volt setup how i've changed it and rewired the 240 volt inverter to run all of the mains power points the air con the coffee machine all of that today we're more interested in how many amps we're drawing out of the battery pack running the air con but it is interesting to point out that we are still running 13.1 volts on the battery pack after about 15 minutes of running the air con on fan speed one and nothing seems to be too hot which is good I'm actually surprised, but I have run fairly heavy duty cable, two bits of four gauge. Again, the previous video uh, will explain more about that, but two bits of four gauge, one from each battery, straight to the inverter. So we do have healthy cable. I am also running fuse blocks rather than those horrible little circuit breakers as testing those in the past, they were becoming a bit of a bottleneck and getting really hot. So anyway, let's have a look. We'll get these meters and aircon and everything all happening and we'll see what the go is eh? well we're running the ibis 4 on fan setting one set to 16 degrees so it's running as hard as it possibly can on fan setting one my theory here is that because it's an inverter if it's on fan setting one it can only pass so much air over the evaporator and therefore it's only going to be able to spin up so far and use less power which would seem to be about right because it's drawing pretty much bang on 50 amps right now which is somewhere around 700 watts what's really interesting about that is that i could probably run that off my little yamaha generator now it's only about 800 watts continuous and i didn't think that it would run the air conditioner but if I left it on fan setting one, it could probably actually do that. There's no high startup load being an inverter. So that's actually very interesting. But on top of that, I could also run the solar, say if it was, well, let's pretend that it's not the real world. Let's say I was getting my full 25 amps out of those solar panels, which is unlikely, but that would only be 25 amps of battery draw. That's quite acceptable, really. It's a fair bit, but it's not crazy. And then if I plug the generator in and had the 25 amp charger running off that as well, I'd actually be supporting that aircon running on fan setting number one. Now it's only a small van and it's quite well insulated. It actually doesn't have a lot of windows and the roof and the walls are all insulated with foam. So the only bit where we're losing a bit of the cool air out would be through the pop top PVC. But that's up the top anyway and so that would be the warmer air. So um, yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I'm really stoked. I've been running this thing for ages now because I've made so many muck-ups with my takes that this has probably been going for 40 minutes so far and battery voltage is just hanging right in there at 13.1. Now, of course, that is the nature of the lithium batteries. They're quite deceiving because they don't drop in the same way that a, a wet cell or an AGM would. They do tend to hold their voltage quite well and then drop all of a sudden. But when it's under a huge amount of load, I do tend to you know, get down to 12.9 or even 12.8 volts when it's drawing off the, uh, say the coffee machine or something. And we're just not seeing that with the air con. So that's really good to see. Well, let's turn this bad boy up and see what happens, shall we? Now, 
It doesn't get any higher than three. It goes into auto after three. Um, maybe it'll have a turbo. Oh, it's got a turbo button. Maybe we'll try that after this. Let's see it goes with three bars of fan on 16 degrees. Okay, it's been a little while now and we've heard the uh, inverter spin up on the aircon and she's now gone up to 100 amps dead on even. So we're running twice the power that we were before. The inverter itself is actually still running quite cool and let's have a look at the batteries. The inverter's fan has come on and off a couple of times now that we're running 100 amps, but geez, it took a while. I probably had to run the aircon for 15 minutes on high at 100 amps before that inverter's fan kicked on, and it's still sitting there at quite a reasonable temperature, under 40 degrees on the casing and on the terminals. So I was really worried I was going to set fire to things doing this, but she's actually going pretty well. So at 100 amps, we're doing about 1300 watts, which is probably not too far off what the spec for this aircon is for cooling it uses a little bit more when it's heating but cooling capacity i think is about 1400 watts so we're pretty close i guess those extra couple of hundred watts might be from turbo mode so let's hit turbo mode and find out all right i've just hit turbo mode and that yeah that's that's lit up that last bar on the display for the fan setting and the aircon is now noticeably louder. I'd also like to point out that I have a window open and the door open right now. So this thing is not mucking around. It's having to work to make it cool in here. Interesting to note, we, we did drop a few degrees um, on the actual outlet of the aircon when we were in high fan speed, which you would expect. So uh, now we're just gonna wait for this thing to spin up to full speed and see what it's drawing off the batteries then. Alrighty, well, I don't know if it just affects the fan speed maybe the motor speed was already at maximum or maybe just because i've been running it for so long it's just cooled down enough that it, it can't do any more i don't know but it hasn't um it hasn't managed to go over that 100 amps yet so i've just turned it back down um i was starting to see a little bit of a dip in the battery about 12.9 which gee there's still nothing wrong with that but obviously i've been probably going for about an hour now so um, she's certainly um, certainly given everything a good workout. Gee, the inverter is, is a great little unit. I've also got a link to that in that other video that we mentioned previously. I just got that off Amazon. I found reviews for it online uh, from America where they pulled it apart. You can actually hear that aircon spinning down now. And um, she's back down to 50 amps. It's a great unit. It's barely even broken a sweat running this and that's really really impressive i think that certainly cooled the caravan down i'll tell you what if you were to do this at the um in late afternoon as the as the sun was going down just like i am right now cool the van down before you go to bed it's quite possible to to do that i mean maybe you'll have to sacrifice a coffee in the morning but i don't know maybe it'll do do it all one other thing i wanted to test though before i pack away is just running the fan only on the aircon because you know you can get sirocco fans and you can get i've got a rechargeable um, ridge rider super cheap fan that we use and have used in here before but it would be interesting to see if i could just use the aircon fan because it does actually move quite a bit of air around and maybe we could run that while we're sleeping um without running the aircon just to get a bit of air moving inside the van so let's have a little bit of a look at that and that'll be the last thing we do okay so Running the fan on high, we're using just over six amps. And okay, that's a little bit, but that's manageable. You could run that, well, you could run it all night like that off these batteries if you wanted to. If you had uh, fully charged batteries, no dramas at all. Let's knock the fan down to one bar and just see what it's like running on one bar, just to keep the air moving. Really simple way, you stop overnight, it's a bit stuffy. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so we're running a about four and a bit amps it's almost worth just running it on full fan really maybe run it full fan and then turn it down just before you go to sleep run single fan the other beauty about running that fan at night time if you're somewhere that's a little bit noisy a bit of traffic noise or something like that some music or something happening you could turn that on for a bit of white noise and uh, and that would actually be quite nice to go to sleep to alrighty well I'm really stoked with that 
I'm, it's actually done way better than I thought it would. I think this is something that I'm definitely going to be able to use over the summer. It's our first summer with the expedition and we are heading away for Chrissy so it's going to be good to be able to use the aircon. Mind you, I think we're going to have power where we are anyway but good to know that we can run the aircon without mains power. So if you're interested in how I set this up remember there's that other video you can have a look at on the coffee machine and if you like this video or you found it interesting or helpful do us a favour, hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much guys and we'll see you next time.